Across the globe, the Western world marks the 1,000th year of the Christian era, but the West is still engulfed in disarray and bloodshed. It will be hundreds more years until those dark ages end. With the West in chaos, it is here in China that the world's most civilized people live. Our new ruler, Taizong's third son, Zhen Zhang, makes sure that elegance, leisure, and learning are all cherished and nurtured. Our cities grow quickly, as does our wealth. Only the Kitan horsemen from the north threaten our idyllic existence. And yes, seven years into Zhen Zhang's reign, our capital of Kaifeng is in fact overrun. The court flees first south to the Yangtze, then upriver to Chengdu. Chengdu, capital of the isolated Sichuan province, is where you now find yourself, my loyal counselor. Emperor Zhen Zhang himself is ready to lead the troops to retake Pingyao and Kaifeng. He has made it your job to supply him with an army strong enough to defeat the Kitan. Build your strength quickly, or they will find our temporary capital in this isolated region before long. This region has great wealth. Rice, salt, tea, iron, lacquer, silk, and the great panda bear all make Sichuan their home. The only thing we lack is copper to mint new strings of cash. But the great Song Dynasty will not let a copper shortage stop our economy from blossoming like a lotus flower. Therefore, we have decided to print money directly on paper using colored inks. It's a novel idea, one never before tried in this world, but we think it might just have some staying power. So remember, build your strength. The Kitan will soon be here. Remember that they covet our wealth. We should consider bribing them with cash or even submitting to them for a time and paying tribute. Yes, this plan is humiliating, but it will give us time by satisfying their greed. Confucius teaches us to beware of greed, but these barbarians from the north have no such great scholar from which to learn. No, they don't, but it doesn't matter. Hey guys, welcome back to Empire, and we're moving on to Chengdu, and we've got some various schools that we've got to get here. 30 sachets of teas, 30 cartons of salt, two cities to be conquered, which are Kaifeng and Pingyao, and probably the Liao Empire as well, and a population of 3,000. Now, I like this mission for a lot of reasons, um, and I'll mention them when we go to the city just now. Um, a big area of land. Um, there is a lot of land here, a little bit of rocks down here. The, the feng shui is a bit harder to get in this one, but we'll try to go for perfect feng shui as always. Um, I'm probably going to go with two common blocks this way, and an elite block over here or something. Uh, now, I like this mission for the following reason. You can grow five food types, soybean, cabbage, millet, rice and wheat without importing. So you've got delicious food, you can also grow hemp. And you can grow all three um, archer types. So you can grow lacquer, silk, uh, raw silk, and tea. Which means you don't have to import. And this is the only mission in the game in which you've got access to lacquer, uh, lacquerware, silk and tea in one mission. Normally you've had to either had one or the other or a couple of them, but you've never had all three. So I like this mission for that reason. Now the salt is unhelpful, unhelpfully away up here in this tiny corner. So um, that's going to have to be a separate community up here. That's why there's a bit of rock there. Um, plenty of trees for the lacquerware. So we'll keep our lacquerware industry down here because there's not very many trees elsewhere. Uh, there is some iron ore over here, not that much though. But I may set up an, uh, a steel making industry over here because we should be able, oh, we, we should be able to get some forts over here. Uh, this centre bit just here will all be um, normal farms and a little bit up here as well for normal farms. Um, in terms of industry, we're going to be trying to trade primarily with Linan and Guanzhou. Uh, simply because they are the main exporters in this mission, and all missions really. Now you'll notice that the Sha Sha Empire has appeared on the map. Um, they're basically like the Tibetans, they're not really um, hostile to you, but they're the main source of spices and jade. Uh, you can still import jade from Chengdu in later missions, but not as much. 
Um, for some reason, the Shasha Empire appears on this mission, but um, no one mentions it in the briefing. I find that odd. Now, I just want to check my difficulty setting. I know it was set to hard, wasn't it? Okay, so with the rocks down here, there's plenty of space to put down two common blocks like this, and then have an elite block just over here somewhere. I don't know, but over here somewhere. Um, I don't know why there's some ruins here, but never mind. We'll clear them. Um, the main bulk of our industry has to be down here because the main waterway comes down this bit here and just out to the side. Um, so all our industry really has to be in these straight line coastal areas. Um, like so. So we'll try to keep most of our trade around this bit down here. Uh, maybe even up here, I don't know. I don't even know if we'll get up there to be honest with you. In fact, I don't think they'll reach up to part of this because there's a blockage. So we might have to destroy some trees to get into this bit. Um, I will try to get perfect harmony. The only problem is that this side's got all the nice amount of space for lacquerware making. And there's no rocks there. So the only rocks are way up there. So I might have to do this, the lacquerware making industry up here. And have it transported down a long distance. But I don't really want to do that, to be honest with you. So, the first thing we're going to do is build up our city. And we're in the Millennium as well, if you didn't notice. Um, so we're going to try and um, build up the, in the 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 main body of the city, and grow some food. I'm going to start by growing cabbage and wheat because they're the main growers, and then we'll add millet and soybean later. I'm not really sure about rice paddies, but I'm going to try and grow all five food types in this particular mission because you've got access to five food types. Use them all; you'll get delicious food out of it anyway. And especially since we've got lacquer, mulberry, and um, tea bushes. The tea goal and the salt goal are stupidly easy. If you remember back in Arnie, right back in the Zhou Dynasty, you only need about three salt mines up here to do that, so that's okay. Goal. Um, gods, we've got Shenong and Huang Di, Sun Tzu and Mencius, Guan Di and Bodhidharma. Again, no monuments. We get a monument in the next mission, if I remember correctly. Anyway, I'm rambling on here. I am going to start planning out an area for a housing block somewhere that the rocks aren't very good here for feng shui so i'm gonna have to find a place for most of the buildings that need to be down by the rocks and um, just kind of along here hopefully i'll go with um, buddhism rather than deoist to my access again uh, just simply because um, buddhism is better because you don't have to worry about things being near rocks because this could be near rocks or away from rocks it only doesn't it just doesn't like trees so that's that's fine really and our iron industry will be up here i think now normally i would import um the stuff but we'll see i might have to clear some of these bamboo trees to get at the uh, the the, uh, the rock for the element that we need for this so anyway i'm yabbering on here i'll go and plan out an area for housing just down here somewhere either here or here and i'll come back once i've done it So here's my first housing block. Um, the only problem is that where I placed it, there's no rocks nearby. The only rocks are up here, which means that this guy's going to have to take a very long walk to get down to here, and I hope that he'll get to this point. Um, I really hope so. Um, this area out here, as I said, this kind of second island, is where I'm basically going to shove every bit of space I can into farms. I mean, I might move this one a couple of tiles back, just so I can get more farms down this bit. I might destroy some of these trees just to make more space available, but let's run the game. And um, let me just um, fix this wall. Like so. It's got a tile gap, it doesn't matter. It's just because it's close to the edge, those rocks. Up this place with statues. No, go away, stupid messages. I want to see the. Are they going to evolve? Oh no, there's a tile gap that's going to prevent them evolving, but it doesn't matter. The boosting of these will help, I think. And um, so let's just set this to uh, exit bean curd, millet, cabbage rice and wheat, a mixture of all that. Um, I haven't done this yet, but I need to go ahead and send out some diplomatic requests to a few cities. Um, 
I'm not gonna bother with Ping Yao or Kai Feng, they're hostile to us, well displeased because they're being captured, as you remember. Uh, we don't really need to import steel, so I'm not too bothered by that. Um, I'm just gonna rid of some of these trees just to see. Does that fit in there? Okay, that's a wheat field. That fits in there just perfectly, so that's good. That's a nice fit in there. If I need to, if I need to put... Actually, what I'll do... Get rid of this. Get rid of all that. Let's cram this right up into the back bit here. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. There. Let's go. One, two. Road tile. I want to make use of every bit of space I can on this map. And obviously if I destroy some of the trees in this bit here it doesn't matter. So we want a wheat field and a cabbage field, wasn't it? Uh, let's just get rid of these trees as well. I have to admit that the map desires are pretty devious for this one. So one, two, three, hang on. One, two, three, one, two, three. There's plenty of space, so. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is going to just be mishmash. It's not going to be really lined up like I normally do. So let's just put down a cabbage field. So I'll just drag this road out. Yes, I know trade agreements are going to be rejected. Who was that from? Shasha, obviously. So they sell jade and spices by silk, weapons and tea. And I think they sell lots of jade. So I'm going to need them as a trading partner soon. Now, does this inspect to reach all the way down here? Yes, he does. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do is try and evolve this, uh, simply because I want to have two inspectors, because when I put a second block here, it's not going to have access to this inspector. But what I might do is just maybe put down a singular one of these, just somewhere and have a road going up like I did in Ping Yao in the previous mission, uh, to get that particular level. Let's just go ahead and shit misplacement of houses. And again. Goodness, I can't place anything. Guansho and Lanan are opening trade with us straight away, which is good. There we go, more houses. Let's go ahead and spam all these statues. I think the Shah Shah Empire could go hostile and send spies, but I'm not too bothered if they do, to be honest with you. Now, we're running out of cash here very quickly, as you can see. Um, this space that I've mentioned is only going to be for food farms. My hemp farms will go out in this kind of area over here, because uh, I don't need tons. Now, I'm going to put down the money printer. It replaces the, the mint um, in all the missions now. And it's really profitable. You need um, paper for it, obviously. So what I'm going to do is put down a hemp field. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, does this fit? Yes, it does. So I'll put the hemp field there and I'll put down some paper makers. Um, I'll just put down... Oh, this is going to be difficult to get in, I think. I might have to move the administrative city later. Um, actually, why don't we just go ahead and put down a paper maker there, just to put it there. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to go up here, probably just silk farms and things like that, I'm not sure. Um, I better get started on a money making enterprise sooner or later, as well as my military. So, what I'm going to do is let these farms kind of stabilise. I'll go ahead and put down another one, just to try and get at least one food type in. Now, I think there's a tile of water just there that's going to mess this up. We're going to put down another... Yeah, there's a tile of water just there, so let's just um, move that along by one tile. There's going to have to be a pointless gap just there. Oops. I pressed the S key again by mistake. And so I'm going to put down a second cabbage farm for now. So as you can see, this is going to be kind of bitty, to use uh, a good word for this. It's going to be all over the place in this space here, and there's not much I can do about it because of the badly out of the trails of water in this map. So this is going to accept, I believe, hemp. And what I'm going to do is, we do have access to kilns and clay making. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of put down maybe, I don't know, just up here, maybe just a little bit of clay making industry and just have them get to that stuff by distance. 
And let's check our cities. We've got displays, dis well, Pingal and Kaifeng have gone hostile. They may invade us. Uh, I hope not, um, because that'll be a bit screwed up. So I'll go ahead and start on this military industry. I'll try to build that up. And uh, yeah, I'll come back in once I've done that. And Pingao has gone hostile, which is not too good, but never mind. I've went ahead and put down this. It's a bit zigzaggy because I had to put these right in here by clearing some trees. So it means it's a bit of an intersection, which I didn't really want, but it doesn't matter. And ooh, a collapsed building. Now, why is that collapsed? Oh, damn it, I didn't need that. Um, roadblock there, which means he's gone up there, which is not too good. Um, let's put down that money printer again. Like the mint, you can only put one of them down, so there's... Uh, and there goes the, the marketplace, not too good. I thought that might happen because that um, wasn't placed properly. Whoops. So I'll just go ahead and place that again. So now that Peng Yao's gone hostile, we'll have to look out for spies, but... It's a bit obvious it'll be spies. Now, I know that I'm cutting down bamboo. Um, the bamboo doesn't get as much um, long, um, planks of wood into the logging shed, but it really grows faster, so never mind. Now, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put down a food shop. I've also wanted to put down another um, farmhouse here for wheat farming. Uh, it looks as if I've got a few bits of cabbage coming in, but... Let's boost the agriculture for now, just to try and get that running efficiently. This will obviously take a hit, but it's okay. In terms of money-making enterprises, I'm not too bothered. We're going to just use this. Now, why does that say 16% complete? Is it just because it there's only one type of... Um, you can only put down one money printer or something? I don't know. Right, so our food will come in with these two food farms, which will be enough for now. And then we'll boost it later when we need to. We've got everything we need to get it up to beyond, um, to up to at least spacious dwelling. And Shenong and Hongdi will be upset for a bit, but it's okay. Just got to keep an eye out for spies, obviously, in my city. Sent by either Ping Yao or Kai Fen, they've gone back to displeased. I think that's just a, an event to force them, just in case they have gone hostile, because it looks as if they haven't. Um, gotten upset. So Guangzhou is a land trade route and they buy lots of items. They buy 24 silk and 24 jade carvings. That's quite good. Um, Guangzhou and Lanan are my main trade points as well as the Sha Sha Empire because I need to import jade from them. Um, so I'm going to primarily concentrate on just Lanan, Guangzhou and Sha Sha to make money. I'm not really sure if I need to bother with jangling because they only buy steel and weapons and they sell us a little bit of our stuff but it doesn't matter because the stuff that we can make we can grow locally. Um, so I'm going to let this run and I'll come back in once we've started to get some troops into our forts here because I'm going to have to wait for food supplies to boost our housing. And not long after I cut it off we get an invasion from the Liao Empire. Now why am I not surprised? They didn't say that we would have to possibly be invaded by them. But I'm going to do what the briefing says this time. I'm going to give in to their demands. Not like before where I was giving in because I had uh, triggered it at the wrong time. But this time I am actually just going to give in to their demands. And, and fall. if I still have enough money, I'll bribe them away and just uh, make money from taxation and the paper maker. The money printer, sorry, I meant to say. Um, I might actually put down another hemp field, to be honest with you. Um, one, two, three, one, two. Uh, we'll just try and boost the hemp supply in this city. I think that should be within range of this and the other one. Um, elite housing will go here-ish. Might not be a very good block, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll we'll come back in when we're near the invasion. Well, the invasion is just about to come around, but look at this big harvest we're getting from these farms. We're getting a lot of um, food coming in, which is what we really need to do to boost the city. Now, I'm going to just set this to plain food's desired quality, because we don't really need to um, get appetising food just yet. As we're only growing two food types anyway. Um, and in this city, what I will do is possibly rearrange this. Because we have to grow tea anyway, I might actually just have some housing in a luxurious apartment, which will mean moving some of this around to let it fit in, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. We're producing a lot of wheat, and we're going to be producing tons of hemp and um, cabbage as well, so that's good. 
um, our steel furnaces are not really working very well because as you can see they don't have very many workers which means they're not going to get any iron ore which is not too good. I don't know if it's because it's blocked in or something. I'm not sure. I don't think it should worry anything about the trees to be honest with you. Um, can we put the palace down actually? Yeah we can. So I can put the palace down somewhere just, just to get the extra forts. But we will need elite housing to get the other forts as well. So we're going to be filling up the paper maker with hemp. We're going to start making some paper to put in this money printer. It says 90% complete but there's no paper in it so I'm not actually sure how that works. I don't know if that's just a glitch or what. So our house is evolving here and this is lost access to an ancestral shrine which is not working. So we'll get all these people boosted and this is working. There's so one. Go out and give the people what they want. Is there a way to boost the religion just temporarily? Yes, we'll do that. So we'll get this working, get this house and stabilise and evolve it. And I'll come back in once the invasion's um, arrived. So the invasion is just around the corner and I hope that we'll have enough funds to bribe them away. Because what I'll do is just rely on taxation. And uh, since we've all relied with Jiang Ling, we will get a gift out then. Uh, it looks as if Kai Feng and Pang Yao have gone apathetic now, which is good. Which means that they're not going to be invading us or anything. But I will rely on Jiang Ling to give me money when I go into debt. Um, and that will allow me to build up my silk industry and lacquerware industries to export to Guangzhou and Lunan. And I'll also try to get the trade route with the Sha Sha Empire open up as early as I can. The earlier I get that open, the more jade I can import. And I can bribe them 9,800 cash. And they're invading from over there and I don't think I can um, so let's buy them away we've paid them off and almost went into debt so that gets rid of them means we're not vassals to anyone which is perfect I could do that last time because we didn't have the option to bribe uh, which is good so these houses just need access to plain food now and we need to produce paper so I'm going to get a gift from oh, we've just boosted 200 cash here from the money printer so I'm not really sure why the production is continuing even though that there's no paper in it so I'm not actually sure how that works. I think that's a bug because it's not supposed to do that. Uh, so these houses will evolve and start getting some taxation money from them I hope. And our money printer will almost certainly get us out of um, debt as well and I'll also wait for the tribute, no, not the tribute but the the gift from um, Jag Ling, which will give us some extra money to start building up another industry involving silk. Uh, since we've got a land trade route open with um, Guangzhou, so I'll start selling silk to them. I'll also sell lacquerware to Lunan, and I'll also um, export silk over to the Sha Sha, but that doesn't matter right now. So I'll let this run, try to stabilise our house, and I'll come back in once it's all evolved. Okay, so our house is starting to stabilise, we're getting a lot of unemployment now, so we're going to reduce the wage rate a bit. We haven't received any gifts of money yet from Jangling, but that's okay. I've been scouting out areas, trying to find out where the best place to put the industries are, uh, silk and lacquerware. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a silk industry over here, so I'll have silk making over here, and the farms will go down this bit here. And then I'll have a lacquerware industry up here, with farms going down this bitty. Or even to this bit. And then I'll have them all connected by roads down to this area here, which will be my trading area. It just means that I'm gonna have to have bad harmony in the city because there's no rocks down by this side of the map, and there's no way that I could get a inspector's tower to go from there all the way across here in a straight line to get to the trading post. So that's not happening. So I'm just gonna have to do a bad harmony. It's okay though. And so our city is stabilising quite well now, so let's put down another paper maker to try and produce more paper because we need more paper in the money printer and in our tax offices, so that's going well. Uh, we're producing weapons at some rate now, which is good. We're producing too many uh, planks of wood that we can't get it into, into the uh, furnaces quickly enough, which is not too good. So let's go ahead and put down... this just here. For now to arise because it went to two, uh, minus two debt to give us a thousand strings of cash. It's not a lot but it'll do. So I'll put that there and we'll just move that along like so. Right, if we 
just do this down like this and um, do one, two, one, two, one, two. And if we do it like do one, two, one, two. And so that'll be the extent of the loop. And then we'll just put a roadblock there. And then this will be uh, silk farms down this bit here. So I'll just draw a line all the way down this bit here. And there's space up here for more farms if I need it. But I think most of the space here will be used for uh, normal food farms. And then any space on the main island here can just be for as many farms as I can fit in. Um, it's not ideal. I, I have to admit this is not an ideal way of doing it. But needs must. Um, so let's put down Lacquerware Refinery. So let's just do... So this goes down. This goes up. One, two, three, four. Whoa, I can actually get this along this bit here, so let's just go ahead and put down a farm there. Roadblock. Actually, no, uh, well, let's not put farms there because I can extend this loop if I need to for more um, thingamabobs. So, no, wrong farms. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, let's just do that. And then put down, not a tea bush, a mulberry tree, that's what I want. The uh, reason I'm leaving a gap there is if I need to, I can extend this a bit more and just, um, you know. Now, we should get out of money debts here. Minus 282 to 82. So we've lost 200, and we've gained 200 from this money printer. And if we can keep this going, then we'll be able to get more money. The only problem is we're not really making that anything from taxation, which doesn't help. Um, so let's go ahead and put down more. Silkworm sheds. One, two, three, three. Again, just like this. This is just going to be a zigzag all over the place layout. I might even move this up one tile if I can get farms in at this side. Hang on. Um, one, two, three. Oh, there's plenty of space. One, two. Yeah, there's plenty of space. I don't need to do anything of the sort. So let's put down another one of these and start producing plenty of silk from just farms. And I'll also find a place to put down. Um, the trading keys, and um, they'll go down here possibly uh, simply because I could just kind of group them all around this little bit here. Apparently I could put it there, but I'm not actually sure if that'll work. It should, but I'm not sure. Um, can we actually put this anywhere? This lake has no access. Okay, so it doesn't let you place it at all if you can't access, it's just red. So the mere fact that I could put that there means it's accessible to the sea, the aka the entry and exit points. Um, so yeah, our housing is stable. We've got a little bit of unemployment, but we're not making any money. As you can see, we're kind of in a heavy debt here. I might have to request money from someone, particularly an ally. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So our fort's building up. We've got industry going here, but obviously no money being made. So I think I'll leave it there for this part. In the next part, I will continue to build up the silk industry and make tons and tons of money from it. And no, we're not celebrating New Year. In fact, since the only trading post that buys um, silk is a land trade route, I can just put down this just right now. Pardon me. Let's put this here and then we'll start selling silk as soon as we get the opportunity to do so when these silkworm sheds work. So in the next part, we'll start to boost the population and start getting towards some of these goals because uh, we've only got the population goal working towards at the moment. We've not got any military to conquer cities and we haven't produced any cans of salt or sachets of tea yet so they'll come sooner enough anyway. It's not going to be too difficult to meet those goals. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye now.